Uh, not so fast. Can you come with me? Why? What is it? I have some good news, which is an unexpected turn of events given the last few weeks. But I have no intention of saying it twice. So, in here. I have something to impart. Right. Well, I've just come from a conference call with the President of the Law Society and Her Holiness, the Attorney General. In the aftermath of Judge Renmark's tragic death, we were reviewing the inquiry he was heading. And I was able to tell my learned colleagues that when Judge Renmark was summarising his findings to me last night, prior to writing his report, he indicated that he could find no substance in the rumours and he was intending to clear you both of all accusations. He was? And that's my recollection of the conversation. I don't think anyone else was there, were they? No. So, the upshot is the inquiry is to be abandoned, uh, which means... You're straight, you're gay, you're a solicitor advocate, and we're all just good friends. Uh, no need for thanks, applause and alcohol at the appropriate time will be gratefully received. Right, well, um, see you then. We understand that, Maya. We don't want to talk to you about doing anything you don't want to do. We're just saying, if, if you want to change your mind, that's OK. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's different. Um, no. We want to make absolutely sure you won't regret a decision you made at a highly emotional and very vulnerable moment when there's still time to change it. Hello, Maya. Uh, we've met before, Tony Gillies. Uh, Janet, could I see you in your office? Uh, I'll be along in a second. We're almost done here. It's urgent. You, uh, you really don't want to get up in court again, do you, Maya? No. Oh, it's not much fun. If you could stay out of court and still see Nelson get what's coming to him, well, that'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, the irony is, if you do agree to give evidence, you'd probably get your wish. Because if Nelson knows you're going to be as strong as you were at that committal, well, he'd probably decide he's better off pleading guilty. Really? Oh, that is a very likely outcome. The more determined you are to stand up in court, the more likely it is you won't have to. How's that for a win-win? Do you know what I was doing there? Bringing the integrity of the office into disrepute, indulging in grossly unethical misconduct. She pulled out of the trial. I heard, but you can't be the one to make a change of mind. Tony, please, I, I, I can't just hope that Lena gets it done. Well, you won't have to. I've, I've spoken to Maya. And? Well, she's thinking about it. You can't bend the rules, not with David leading the defence. If he gets wind of the slightest grounds for abandoning this trial, he won't hesitate. G'day. Things still going well for us? Yeah, pretty good. Janet was fine, drew on after lunch, and then it's their turn. Do you know Karen Shaw? I take it that's a yes. Met her once or twice. Why? Nothing important. What did you talk to her about? Protecting our sources. Sources of what? Listen, Tony. Let me just say that I have never given her any information about any matter I or anyone else here is prosecuting or has prosecuted. And what information did you give her? How'd you find out I'd met her? Oh, don't you question me, Owen. I'm bloody furious about this. No one in here goes to the press behind my back. Absolutely no one. We are a huge target and the only way I can protect us all, collectively and individually, is by putting myself between those doors and all the press outside. Now, if you want to continue working here, in fact, if you want to even finish this trial, you'll tell me what went on in that meeting. No fudging. No bullshit. Why did you go to the press? Tell me now or you can fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> 